right, hi friends, sorry about that. My video accidentally got cut off, so we'll just have two videos for this one. Okay, so we have, I've got a Robin, and then I've got all these letters, how you spell Robin. So this, this song is, is called Robin. There was a bird who laid some eggs, and Robin was her name, O-R-O-B-I-N, R-O-B-I-N, R-O-B-I-N, and Robin was her name, oh, chirp, chirp. Kind of reminds you of a song that we did way back in the beginning of the year about a farmer whose dog was named Bingo. I bet you remember that. All right, we're going to do our Robin art project, so I would like you to grab out... It's your plastic bag, okay, with your Robin Art Project, okay, so go ahead and take those pieces out, and the first one you're going to need is the green rectangle, okay, and we're going to make this into some grass, so you're just going to snip some triangles, so you just go down, and up, down, and up, down, and up. Down and up, down and up, and down. Okay, see how it kind of looks like some grass? Then I'm going to grab them. You're also going to need your glue stick. Okay, remember when we do our gluing, we go around to the edges and we're going to glue that at the very bottom of our robin picture. Okay, so yours should look like this. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video anytime if you need to. That's fine. Okay. Then you're going to need your orange. And this is traced out kind of like half of a circle. Okay, so this is going to be part of the robin's body. Okay, right? Like we can see in the picture of the robin. Okay, and then I'm going to have you glue that. You're kind of going to glue it kind of in the middle. Okay, almost kind of looks like an orange slice. All right, and then you're going to find this piece. This piece is the robin's tail. Okay, so you're going to cut around the outline for his tail. And then you need your glue stick. Glue that on. Okay, so that will go on this side. Okay, then you're going to need your brown paper, the one that looks like half of a circle. Okay, you'll use that, cut out around those lines, and then you'll get your glue stick and you'll glue that. It's kind of right on top of the orange one, but you want to leave some space so that you can see the orange part of his body. Okay. All right, and then we've got a brown square. Remember how we've practiced where we snip the corners? Okay, so one, two, three, and four. All right, and then I'm going to put the one here because this is going to be the robin's head. All right, so it's starting to look more like a robin, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to find my black crayon. I'm going to give my robin an eye. Okay, so I just made a circle there. I'm going to give him some feet because he is standing in the grass. And I'm going to use kind of a orangey color here. I'll show you. And I'm going to give him his beak. Okay. Now, hmm. Do you remember in our story, we talked about something that they like to eat? Not for me, definitely not, but something that robins like. Long and squiggly and we, they would be found in the grass. A worm. So I just used a crayon and I drew a squiggly line for a worm. So he's getting that worm out of the grass and he can have that. So there, your Robin project's all done. Thanks for doing that with me. Nice work, okay? Hope you have a terrific weekend and I will see you guys all next week. Bye!